Good morning. Thank you for being with me. It's such a beautiful day here in, in Odessa. And we just, I thank you for being with me this morning. And again, this is a new day to rise up and take your place in Christ and uh, take up your couch. We're going to read this story here this morning. And uh, many years ago, the Lord gave me uh, the story of Jairus' daughter and about the son uh, of Nain that Jesus spoke to both of those situations. They were dead. Both of those people were dead, but Jesus spoke to them to arise. We just celebrated the resurrection where Jesus arose from the dead. Amen. But he, I want you to know that this morning that the Lord is calling you to arise out of the circumstances and the things that have kept you bound. And we're, let me read this story. We're going to talk just for a few minutes uh, from Luke chapter 5. And this is the story of how they, the four men brought the paralytic into the setting. And I think it's interesting as we begin here uh, in this, in this um, place here in Luke chapter 5. It says, and we're just going to go right to the word this morning. Hallelujah. And it says um, in verse 17 of Luke 5, and it says, It came to pass on a certain day as he was teaching that there were Pharisees and doctors of the law sitting by which were come out of every town of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem. And the power of the Lord was present to heal them. You know what? There are situations and times where the manifest presence of God is there to heal. Amen. There are different things that will happen that will make that atmosphere present so that many people in that setting are healed. But today in your home, he is here. He is present in, in, in his spirit. He's already paid the price and he is seated in heaven making intercession for you today to receive your healing. And so here it says, so it says um, in verse 17, the power of the Lord was present to heal them. And behold, guess what? Men brought in a bed and a man which was taken with palsy. They sought and they brought him in and laid him before him. There were four men. One other version of the story says that there were four men and they couldn't get in because there were so many people around in that setting. They couldn't get the, their, their friend in. But they brought him in and they they took him to the top of the roof and they let him in and brought him down so that Jesus would heal him. And so they had a confidence that if they got their friend to the presence of the Lord, that the Lord would heal their friend. And so, and behold, the men brought in a bed, which was taken, a, a man that was taken with palsy, and they sought means to bring him in, to lay him before him. And when they could not find but what way they could bring him in because of the multitude, they went upon the housetop, and they let him down through the tile with his couch, with his couch, into the midst before Jesus. And when Jesus saw their faith, he said unto him, Man, your sins are forgiven thee. Now there were scribes and Pharisees that were there that day, and they're reasoning, they're saying, What is he doing? Who does he think he is that he would forgive this man's sins? And Jesus, perceiving their thoughts, he said to them, By what re you what are you reasoning in your hearts about? Why are you saying this? You're thinking, how can this man, how can this man forgive sins and pray for the sick? I tell you, we cannot, we can't, we, we can't judge another man's anointing, another, another, uh, a way that God would use a man that would bring about healing. I think Jesus was anointed with the Holy Ghost and power who went about doing good. And healing all that were oppressed of the devil because the Lord was with him. And said, the spirit of the Lord 
binds up broken hearts, sets at liberties that those that are bound. You want to examine the fruit of your ministry. If there are not, not people's hearts being bound up and deliverance coming, then what kind of ministry are you in? Because this is what the Spirit of the Lord, according to Isaiah 61, says, will accompany the anointing of God. They will bind up broken hearts, set at liberty those are bound, preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Amen. The day of vengeance of our God. Amen. And, 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 and the day of recompense. Amen. So God, Jesus himself, his spirit is, is present today for you to receive your healing. Let's go on. But there were Pharisees. There's always going to be somebody saying, you can't receive your healing. You've done too much. How, how can your sins be forgiven? Does God, does, does Jesus not know what this person has done? You know, it's not any of that, but it's the power of God's love that was shed abroad in Jesus. It's shed abroad in, in and put in, uh, Jesus took the price for you and I, that love, God loved so much that he gave his very best to be our example, to take all of our sins upon himself. So let's go on. It says, uh, so they, um, and so, and the scribes and Pharisees began to reason, saying, who is this that's speaking blasphemies and forgiving sins? God can only do that. But when Jesus perceived their thoughts, he said, why are you reasoning in your heart? Is it easier to say your sins are forgiven or to rise up and walk? But that you may know that the Son of Man has power on earth to forgive sins. I say unto thee, Arise, take up your couch, and go into your house. And immediately he rose up, and he took up where would he had been laying on, and he departed to his own house, glorifying God. And they were all amazed. And they glorified God and were even filled with fear, saying, Wow, we have seen such a strange thing today. I tell you, the Lord gave this man a charge. He said, Arise. But he didn't just tell him to just get up and walk out. He said, Arise, get up, and take your couch. So there is a couch. That, that, and so he wasn't just healed. He wasn't just a, a weak one. When, when Jesus said, Arise. That power went through him. That power resurrected him. And he not only rose up, but he was told to pick up his, his uh, couch, pick up what he had been, been brought in with, and leave. Amen? And it, it's interesting that in, uh, when Jesus went through uh, and, and went, was resurrected, and they went into where Jesus was, was supposed to have been in the tomb and they saw it always i was always struck it, they i they saw the handkerchief the things that he had been wrapped in that they were there in the tomb uh, jesus is a complete healer when he heals you he heals you all the way he restores all the strength he restores everything that was lost and he strengthens you fully and so, uh, when you when you call upon the name of the Lord, and Jesus says to you, "Arise and go forth," you are to do what Jesus says to do. Forget that sick bed, forget that bed of sin, forget whatever that situation was, and uh, go forth in the at the word of the Lord. Amen. There's another story that is in the Bible about. Um, the ten lepers and Jesus tells them to go and show themselves to a priest to the priest well we don't know when they were healed but until they went and showed themselves they weren't going to be healed because it's the the action and, and the movement on account of the word that brings about your resurrection that brings about your healing that brings about the supernatural amen because the natural man doesn't want feel like it's healed. The natural man doesn't want to do certain things. The we cannot let this natural man dictate 
when God gives us a word, what we are going to, if we are going to obey it or not, we have to know we've heard from God, we've heard from the Lord, and do what he says. Now, he gave them instruction, this, this paralyzed man, he had been brought in with his four friends and dropped down, and he gave them an instruction. He said, arise, pick up your couch, and go and be healed. Amen. I tell you, you've got to you've got to lay aside those things that have kept you in the past. You're not sick anymore. You need to do what a healed dog we talk about. You've got to do what a healed person does. You cannot be in in loss and regret and and um, and sickness. You've got to you got to get your mind renewed that when Jesus says by his stripes you were healed you were healed amen there have been countless times in throughout ministry we've been ministering for in, in uh, had a ministry for well over 20 years uh, we began in 2000 24 years coming up amen but and we have never not preached because of an attack of him, of sickness and degree and, 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 and coming against us. That doesn't mean we haven't had symptoms that have come against us. That doesn't mean we haven't felt sick and not wanted to preach or sometimes not even had a voice. But as we went forward to minister the word of the Lord, you know what would happen? The Lord would restore our voices. The Lord would minister to us in our healing. He would meet us in our faith. And so you've got to make a decision today. Will you, at the word of the Lord, arise and take up your bed? Amen. Let me read it right here. Arise. Take up your bed and walk in Jesus' name. Go forward. Go forward in the nombre de Jesus, in the name of Jesus, because there is no forward without him. Everything is ahead. Everything is new for you as we celebrate resurrection. I tell you, if you will take it today, you can walk in new things. You can come out of that grave. You can go forward in Christ Jesus. And know that Jesus, as you rise up and walk, that Jesus is with you and he is making the way plain for you in Jesus' name. This man, he is sick. His friends knew how sick he was, but they knew if they got him to Jesus, if they got their friend to Jesus, that he would be whole. I tell you, friend, I'm bringing you to Jesus this morning. We pray for women in the mo this morning. Pray for the women in, uh, at 5 o'clock. And I just thank you, Lord. We know that we've got you before the Father. And Jesus himself is delivering you today. Thank you for being with me. God bless you. I look forward to seeing you soon. But thank you, God, today that you have been resurrected in Jesus' name. Have a great day. God bless.